The PlayStation 5 is available right now and everybody wants to get their hands on it, including this guy. That's why he's here with me. Hey, Roy, do you want a PlayStation 5, buddy? So in this video, I'm going to talk about why the PlayStation 5 is so popular and why everybody wants to get their hands on this console. And also... Uh, the things that are cool about this and the things that are not cool about it. This entire review of the PlayStation 5 is being shot on the iPhone 12. Yes, I did get the iPhone 12. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably might not know. But yeah, I'm just testing out the camera because this thing records in 4K60 from the back and the front camera. So I was like, might as well, let's give it a try, you know. The PlayStation 5 looks so weird, I'm not gonna lie, but again, on the other side, it looks so cool at the same time. Um, now, if you wanna put this um, horizontally or vertically, you would need to use the stand, as you can see, right now I'm using the stand. Um, yeah, definitely this thing looks way more cooler uh, when it's standing upright. Um, it has a nice design. Uh, the vents are right here. I think that's for the air intake. Um, and the exhaust is at the back. I'll show you around the back. Look at the side profile of this thing. Looks pretty cool. Then there is this PlayStation logo. Looks so cool. This thing is packing all the technology that you can imagine. Uh, from the PlayStation 4, this has a touchpad, it has a speaker, and now it also has a microphone that you can mute uh, with the button right there, which is so freaking cool. I'll bring it close. So let me turn this on. Again, there is a light. The light is not here anymore. It's right next to the touchpad. But anyways, here is the mic on and off button. Again, the, it's not connected to the controller. Now, this is the button that can uh, enable and disable the microphone. Um, yeah. The D-pad feels amazing, less, just like any other PlayStation D-pad. The, the analog sticks are cool. But again, the haptics on this controller is what takes the PlayStation 5 to the next level. I'm not even kidding. I'm an Xbox and a PC guy and I'm talking about this is pretty freaking cool. This thing sucks with battery life. Again, um, you know, it has amazing haptics, um, has a microphone on it, has a speaker on it, has a touchpad on it, has a light bar on it. I mean, again, you're expecting way too much, but the battery life is pretty shitty, I'm going to say. Even though the battery runs out pretty fast, it still has a rechargeable battery inbuilt. Um, I personally feel Xbox should include a rechargeable battery because you know what? AA batteries are not cheap. I would rather charge my console. I would rather charge my controller um, than, you know, replace AA batteries every 10 minutes. And also there's a USB-C port for charging, which is... There is still no way to digitally sell your video game if you buy it on a PlayStation store. And that's why everybody wants the disc version. But trust me, the disc drive is so freaking loud. I'm not even kidding. It's so loud. And also installation of a video game from disc drive is so slow. Like, not even kidding. It's pretty freaking slow. However, the game loading times are much faster. The game loads very quick because it's uh, loading off of an SSD. So if you're playing Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5, make sure you're playing on the performance mode because I'll be honest, 4K 60fps feels so much better than playing a game with ray tracing. Yes, so if you select the fidelity mode, it runs at 4K 30, but with ray tracing. Trust me, it looks good, definitely looks good. But if you want to experience the game to its full extent, definitely go for um, uh, definitely go for the performance uh, so you could play at 4K 60. I have recorded the gameplay, as you could see uh, on your screen right now. While playing the storyline of Spider-Man Miles Morales, my game only crashed one time, literally one time, which is pretty amazing as as you can imagine, this is like the latest console right now. Uh, but while installing Call of Duty, my game crashed a couple times. But other than that, the, the console had been pretty stable. So when you press the PlayStation button on your uh, controller, you get this quick menu that shows what mission you are currently on and how much progress is done and shows you uh, so on and so forth. Uh, also, there is this quick menu that shows, you know, you could uh, toggle power on and off your profile, uh, your um, accessories, you know, it shows your controllers charging. If you want to disconnect, turn off your controller. 
on, you know, mic settings, uh, sound settings, music. Yeah, you can connect your Spotify account and listen to music. The UI looks pretty clean, just like any other PlayStation UI, as you can see. But the new thing uh, that I really can't show you, every time you scroll through a game, there is a music that plays in the background. Obviously, I can't play that music due to copyright. But again, every single game has its own unique music that plays on the menu for example astro would have a music playing call of duty would have a music playing um, um uh, fortnite would have you know i did download fortnite to see you know how the game looks on playstation 5 because there are not really so many games available natively for playstation 5 uh, this is the ak-47 the legendary the classic everybody loves this gun now here look at this so this trigger you know you aim down the sight with this so there is lots of resistance with this because you know you are lifting a heavy gun and you're aiming down the side. So whenever I, whenever I press this, there is definitely resistance. Now you now you now this is the trigger, okay? Uh, now at, so now you will see the trigger pull. As you can see, you can hear the click as well. You you could hear even the controller sounds like as if it's like a gun you know you would probably know if you play call of duty you probably know how uh, ak sounds like when it's shooting so look at this you could see and there is a recoil as well and you could see my finger so there is a recoil that comes from the trigger now my the only um, thing that I find it weird, so whenever you are trying to aim down the sight, okay, the resistance is same for any gun. For example, whether it's a sniper rifle, AK, or um, uh, a handgun, as you can see, I have 1911 in my hand. The resistance is same on the left trigger. However, this trigger like feels like you're actually pulling a trigger for a gun. Look at this. Okay, I got killed. Uh, now let's try a different gun. Now my favorite MP50, MP5, okay? Now see. So aiming down the side, same amount of resistance. Now look, again, I'm, I'll pull the trigger and you feel, you will see the recoil. Just take a look at my index finger. I'll focus on it. And you see as it empties the mag, See, now there's no vibration on my finger, but look. That is freaking cool, don't you guys think? Part. Now you would hear, now you would see, I would grab that uh, thing. I don't know what thing it is, but it's on a track and you would see the vibration. You could see the same amount of recoil that I was having with Call of Duty, which is so cool. As you can see. You could you could feel the triggers responding to your actions. PlayStation 5, um, you know, is special to me because of the controller. Um, and again, I was really disappointed while playing Spider-Man. I was really disappointed because um seems like um the game was originally made for PlayStation 4. And PlayStation 4 Pro and then later on they added re ray tracing and uh, yeah because uh, this controller feels nothing special when playing um, Spider-Man Miles Morales but if you play Astro's Playroom oh my god this is next level if you play Call of Duty this is good even though Call of Duty is a trash game um, I mean it's a decent it's, it's a Call of Duty it's just like any other Call of Duty but yeah you want to experience this controller, you got to try Astro's Playroom. Definitely. Before you play any other game, you must play Astro's. I'm telling you right now. Before you play any other game, you must play Astro's Playroom and then go on to your game. If you want to buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Cold War, do not play any of those games until you play Astro's Playroom. Trust my words. Trust me. So the, so the ultimate question, uh, PlayStation 5 is so hyped right now, 
However, there are not really games. There are not really any special, any exclusive games that you can play right now. Other than Spider-Man, I mean, you can play that game on uh, a PlayStation 4 as well. Um, there are not really, uh, other than Astros, I'm not even kidding. That game is free, but I would have paid up to $25 to play that game. It is actually pretty fun. Not gonna lie. So all you can expect with this amazing controller and uh, Sony first party games like Uncharted 5, you can expect this controller to do so much. This is why I wanted to play Spider-Man because um, um, I, I thought like this controller will do magics, you know. But again, uh, pretty much there was nothing. Uh, Call of Duty works better with this controller as you know, you could feel the different effects um, from this controller. But again, nothing from Spider-Man. I was disappointed. There's something that provides you a better um, experience, okay? In terms of consoles than an Xbox. Um, yeah, but right now, if you're rushing to buy it, maybe maybe calm down, maybe slow down. Because um, there is nothing to play. There is actually nothing to play. I would have loved to play Gran Turismo with this. Or I would love to play Forza Motorsport 7 with this. But again, this is not compatible with PC as of now. And I don't know even if in future, if the haptics will work. But again, um, I'm, I'm expecting too much. But imagine playing Gran Turismo uh, with this, you know, braking uh, with the triggers, acceleration. It will feel amazing, you know. It will be a next-gen experience. So this is why PlayStation is a hot commodity right now. And again, I would give all the credits to this piece of thing here. Other than that, like, you know, um, yeah, this is a game changer controller. Yes. And Xbox, they are very like, okay, if it ain't broke, let's not fix it kind of thing. Um, I hope my video was informative uh, enough for you. I mean, if it was, uh, I would recommend, if it was, I would recommend dropping a like, sharing this video, and also subscribing to my channel. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, I gotta go. Eroy, what time it is right now? Hold on.